Look at this little freaking mud nugget right here. <laughs> Gosh, son. Welcome back here at the Freeport Marsh. Hopefully I find the reds because the past two trips I've been skunked. It's been a while. Let's hope we get into them. I don't believe in that crap. <laughs> we are fishing an incoming tide. Whenever that happens, I'm able to move at a speed of 5.2 miles per hour. Wow. Well, on average, it's around four and a half miles to maybe five miles an hour because I'm going with the current and not to mention with the wind. South, southwest at nine miles an hour, I think it's forecasted today. But right now there's next to no wind. Water temp is 83 degrees. Should be a good day. At least the pedal is. Well, that is a big time bummer because I did not see any fish with the exception of two sheep's head. No redfish though. Okay, let's pack this thing away and we'll get back to fishing. Come here, baby. You've done your job. Can't help it that the fish ain't there. Ah, just missed him. Oh, man. It's twice. Thought that was some darn oyster that I hit on a day where we need some fish. Not that time. Oh, I felt the thump. Is that a trout? I think that's a trout. He's fighting like a trout. Holy moly, we caught a trout inside the marsh. I haven't did this in a long time. It's a keeper too. Wow, this guy's got some heft to him. Look at that beautiful trout. Smashed it. Good night. That is a good 16 inches. We're going to keep this guy. <laughs> you must have heard me, right? We're going to keep it. First thing in the morning, nice keeper sized trout. 16 inches. Don't want anything too much bigger than that. There's no need for it. Let the big ones get big. These guys fit in the fry pan just right. Boy, that guy just wrecked this lure. Look at that. Almost got the tail completely chopped off. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's a trout for sure. That's the middle of the water. Nice size blow up. We got him. Yep, that's a trout. This guy doesn't look like a keeper though. So that is going to be... Oh, no, he is. All right, get over here, bud. <clears throat> yeah, he's definitely going to be one. Uh, this guy does not look like a keeper. If he is, he's going to be on the very short end. We're having a fish fry on the 4th of July. And you's going to be a part of it. Oh my god, you are so freaking lucky. Look at that. Look how lucky this guy is. Oh, we can't even pinch his tail. You're so darn lucky, bruh. Get out there. Get bigger so that when I come in here next time, I'm going to keep you. I love seeing a blow up and then you cast to it. Next thing you know, you're hooked up. That's the way I like it. I just heard another one. Okay, that's a red. That's alongside the bank. I'm getting excited. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice, but whenever you see light, signs of life in the marsh, that's exactly what you want. You just got to be patient, get over to them, and get a good cast. Try to beach ourselves right here at this point. Mm, that doesn't seem... Oh my gosh! Dude! <laughs> oh god! I was getting ready to... You... <clears throat> Oh my god. Bro, you scared the crap out of me. I was getting ready to pull my lure up. You got salt water in my eye and my mouth. 
Dude, you got me with my pants down. Seriously. <laughs> my God. Holy smokes, bro. And you're an eater, too. Look at that. Just your luck, man. A split second would have went by and you would have you would have been on easy street you're the perfect size just like your buddy in there probably 15 now oh, that one's about 16 17 inches let's make sure oh gosh darn all right that's it i'm squeezing the crap out of you now oh, you ain't gonna do that i got a grip on you he's a 16 incher look at that Ah, too bad, buddy. You had your shot. You almost got me. You're going to join your buddy down there. And uh, you're going to be nice, good food for the fish fry. Yeah, we're already getting into the shallow stuff. Come on, Mark. Turn, baby. Turn, baby. Ooh, look at that. Did you see? I was watching him. Okay, we should be able to get a cast on him from right here. Yeah, we got it. Are you gonna be home? Come on, bruh. Oh, yeah, that's a red. He's fighting just like one. Oh, he's a puller. That initial run gonna be over with, come on. Holy moly, man. That's got to be the blow up that I saw. Dude probably chased it across that flat. I'm anchored in the mud right now. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. All right. I haven't even got a look at him. Oh man, this rod. Bent. Oh, that is a nice. Come on, son. He is a nice one. Let's get this net ready. Oh, these rods. Andrew, bro, I cannot wait to come in and get another one. A spinning setup for my 1000 and my 500 series spinning reels. Andrew does a great job with these things. I mean, gosh, it's just able to take a beating that these reds give, and that bend is just so phenomenal. Look at this big old huge red, man. We got a proper donkey on a line. Oh yeah, this dude is a proper sized donkey. Oh my gosh. Get over here. Let's go, baby. Oh my god. Dude, oh my goodness, bro. I'm tired of fighting you. Here we go, here we go. Here's our shot, here's our shot, here's our shot. Why do we always repeat something over and over again whenever we're about to land a fish? Oh my goodness, this guy is fat. Holy cow, this dude. Oh my gosh, he is whoo, plump. Girl, you need to lay off them cheeseburgers, baby. Whoo, gosh, darn, that hoagie stuck right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hook set. And it's still kicking. Look at that. Still hasn't given up on me. Way to go, hoagies. Probably his last fish. Like, coach, I don't want to come out the game. My son, I'm sorry. Your tail is hanging off. We'll try to catch one more with it, but I think that's all it's got left. Look at that. Boy, is ripped to shreds. Okay, enough of you. Now on to you. What a beast. I'm curious because this guy was heavy. Holy cow, that's a six pounder right there. Look at that beautiful redfish. Don't you just love a fish that pulls that hard? Oh, you're amazing, bro. Look at that. Good night. That is a, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say he's 24. His tail is barely touching 24 inches. We got ourselves a proper donkey. Normally I wouldn't keep these, these guys, the bigger ones. But since we're doing a fish fry for 4th of July, which by the way, happy 4th of July to each and every one of you. It is an honor to have served this great country and I absolutely love her. 
for everything that she stands for. I hope that you and your family, the loved ones, are all going to have a great time together. Hopefully you're popping fireworks tonight. So yes, happy 4th of July to each and every one of you. All right, let's get this mud donkey on the stringer. Yes, I knew it. Eventually, if we played long enough, we'd catch something in there. Oh gosh, what is this? I thought it was a trout. Is it a little chicken? What is it? Yeah, it's a little mud chicken. Get over here, son. Oh, please do not get hung up in my fish. You wanna join them? <laughs> If you're long enough, I'm going to make you join him. Get over here. I don't know. He's he's he might make that slot. Let's see. Boy, this dude is white. Look at him. Son, you need to get some freaking spray tan or tanning lotion, something. Oh. Look at that 19 and a half. So lucky. But we're going to let this guy go. I mean, look at that. <laughs> He's got the color only a mother could love. All right, buddy. You want to say goodbye to your friends? He's like, see ya, suckers. Okay, this could very well be my last battery because for some reason my power bank turned off when charging the, uh, the dead batteries. So I have zero batteries left with the exception of the one inside the GoPro. In the event that it is, my last battery to film with well just know that i had a great day and uh i've got quite a bit of fish so a nice size stringer feels so good to get back out here to this freeport marsh and be able to do this good coming off of two skunks in like months because i have yet to come back out here but i knew it had to be a good producer of some fish so to all my patreon uh patrons this video or not this video, but the video with the route that I've taken and where I was catching the fish. Be looking towards, uh, looking forward to that. I also want to throw a shout out to the newest patrons to the channel, David Harrelson. Oh my gosh, David, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate that type of support. Peter Dow, thank you so much. John. Sar, okay, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, but please forgive me. Sarabia, thank you so much, John. And Steve Garza, I really, oh, and also Brandon Revaya, thank you so much. I really appreciate that support. I've had a great day out here. And just to know that I'm still constantly getting patrons to my channel. Uh, I know that y'all, without a doubt, believe in what I'm doing. Uh, either you appreciate me coming out here, speeding your learning curve, or you just appreciate the entertainment that I'm doing and trying to help me out. I definitely and sincerely appreciate that. To everybody else, I really appreciate y'all for supporting the channel by watching. And if you want a, an experience that goes beyond what I do on YouTube, well then, go on over to Patreon. Click the link that's in the description down below. It'll show you what I'm about. So uh, yeah, I sincerely thank y'all. If you enjoyed the video, please give me that thumbs up. And until next time, everyone, tight lines.